Well, good morning, my dearest, beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Another day, and our God is great. I just wanted to let you know a wonderful thing that happened to me yesterday. And it is something that wasn't for me, but for every believer. Put your trust in the Lord. It is so important. And it has more ramifications than you can even imagine. Jesus said, I give you, I do not give you a spirit of fear, but of courage. And it is true. And I honestly believe that he shows it to different people, that we may show it to you, that he he won't always do everything you might want him to show me, show me, but he will do something with somebody and they will tell you about it so that you can have certainty in his promises. And he, he does to... The fools among us are the ones that he shows. By that, the ones that you know cannot do something is the one he will have it work through. And this is me. Now, none of you have seen me more than sit down. And and to be honest, I'm not the strongest of people. I have health issues like millions and millions of people. I'm rather, I've always been a fairly physically weak. Um, I I don't have strong hands, um, whereas some people have these wonderful hands that can grip. I, I use my body to push things more than I do for lifting and holding. I don't have the strength. I'm the weakest one in our family, and yet I do an awful lot. I do timber work and and. Do what I can, not as much now, of course, but I I would always get in and do things. But I never had the physical strength. And nowadays with all the ailments, of course, I don't have anything like a strength physically. And I've always felt myself to be a bit of a coward. and, And that's worried me because the Bible says cowards will have no place in heaven and even though I had great faith I felt I, I'm a coward um, many years ago and, and I, I get this from an incident that happened many years ago I was physically attacked by someone who tried to annihilate me shall we say and I think they call it mugged these days. Yes, it was mugged. I was mugged, um, if if anyone knows what that term means. And in the in the thing in the time of it, my fear level was so great that I was screaming, but not even a sound came out. I had a silent scream. <laughs> that sounds impossible, but I was screaming without a sound. And I was rescued just in the nick of time and all was well. But I thought from that moment, I must be a coward. Because I obviously froze to such a point that even my voice was gone. So I've always had this doubt in my head. Lord, am I a coward? Am I, even though I'm trying to be with you and all of this, And I accept your um, judgment. So whatever is happening, I understand that even if we're working on this together, there's got to be something done about courage. And the other night I prayed to know if I had courage. Well, you would not believe it unless... You saw it. 
Now, I'm not saying this to big note myself. Don't get me wrong in, in that. No, this is an example of God's glory. This has nothing to do with me. This is 100% the glory of God because only he could have done this. I was in a shopping centre the other yesterday. Um, you call them a mall in other parts of the world, an indoor where there's multiple shops and people all mill around. Excuse my garment, it's, it's showing my shoulders and I'm very uncomfortable with that. Um, but in this mall, my father and I, he's getting a lot better, by the way. Thank you for your prayers. And we were able to get out and have a coffee uh, out at the shopping centre. That's what we were doing, having a coffee. And we're sitting there. And these young men went running past at high speed and there was great shouting. And at first I thought they were playing, you know, like, and I'm thinking they're too old to be acting like that. That was my first thought, condemnation. Men, that are young men that age running around like children and screaming, that to me seemed so foolish. And then I saw... I watched and everyone was watching and one of the young men slipped a little bit just to the point where he could he was captured by these others and they started to to attack him they were pulling him around on the ground flinging him to the ground kicking it was it was violence it was violence my loves it was very very horrible to see and people all around were just watching and then the young man got up very quickly and slipping on the ground his feet seemed to be going a mile a minute and not getting anywhere then suddenly he got traction and ran back past us but so did this group of young men then turn and follow him again at high speed well, no one's doing anything and, and instantly without thought I just cried out, stop that, you know, and silly old woman, I'm, you know, people are looking and I get up, now I've got my walking frame, my loves, and I get up and you would not believe the speed at which I moved. I did not believe the speed at which I moved. And I got up and everyone's telling me, sit down, don't go. And I said, no, we can't put up with this. And I went after them at quite a speed. And I caught up with them. And I just told the boys to get away. This wasn't right. Go away. Leave him alone. And he was in rage. He... he a young man, very, they were very big, physical, I don't know the ages, maybe 17, 18. Hard for me to tell ages of people. But they were physically ma a man, but still with the youngish faces and voices. You know, they weren't, they didn't talk like men. They, they talked, not that their voice wasn't like a man, but their the way they spoke was, the way they called out was like children. Um, so age, I have no idea, but they were, they were all bigger than me by a long ways and very muscular. And this young man that they had attacked, they were grabbing at his, he had a bag. Now, he was a school age fellow because he had a, a school coat on, even though he looked so big, he had a school coat on and he had a backpack and they were grabbing at his backpack they wanted his backpack and they wanted to to really injure him i think it was about four against one there was so much commotion and then others came they started to go and this young man just wanted to go after them now he had rage and i'm calming him down and others came in and formed a nice circle around him to try and keep him 
at bay and we just calmed him down and somebody took him into a shop right next door and called the security. I went back to my coffee as if nothing had happened. And I tell you, at the end of this, I was astounded because I thought, I have never done anything like this before. I moved in a way I have never been able to, and I was able to just put my hand on the young man, and he stopped. Not through me. I had nothing to do with this. When Jesus said, I give you a spirit, that Holy Spirit is of courage. It is definitely the spirit that takes over in these times. Just as when he said, when you speak, when you're called to speak, don't worry about the words you're going to say because the spirit will speak of him for you. It will be his speaking. That's why we don't fear when we are going to be taken up. If we are still here, if some of us are going to be taken up into the um, courts, into the synagogues, into um, persecution, we do not have to fear what we will say. And this is the perfect example. We do not have to fear if we have courage or not it's not us understand it it's not us this little old lady didn't have personal courage but he gave us the spirit of courage he gave me the spirit and the spirit in the instance there took over I didn't need me it wasn't me Jesus was doing his thing. So this is just to let you know, don't be afraid. Don't think, oh, I won't be able. If things go wrong, I won't be able to do it. I will fail. No, my loves. He just used the foolish things of this life. A little old lady and everybody was just gobsmacked. Um, they were astounded that this little old lady with her walking frame got up and moved quick as lightning, caught up to these boys, was able to help quench the thing. It didn't make sense, but it happened. That was a witness to Jesus for all of those people. That was a witness of the power of Jesus because he made something that is impossible happen. And he will do it with you if you are in a situation. Do not fear because it's not about you and me. It's about him. And he will make the things turn to his glory. And that is the glory of our God. His yoke is light because he's carrying us along on the yoke. <laughs> it's wonderful. I just wanted to reassure you now that he has shown me I have no need to doubt. It's not the it's not that we are cowards. Our flesh is a coward. But he has given us the spirit and the spirit is courageous. When you are put into the position where Jesus is ready to use you, the spirit of courage will be with you because that's what he gave you. So... Just a happy note for you to know and be assured, my darlings, when the time comes, you don't need to doubt because it will just 
happen the way the Lord desires it. Oh, we have a great God. Have a wonderful day, my darlings. Remember to smile at the Lord because he is watching over everything you do. And there he was in the shopping mall with us for a coffee. And he gave us the spirit of courage. Isn't the Holy Spirit wonderful? Anyway, God loves you and he is showing it to us every day. Excuse this, this, this garment is falling apart, I'm afraid. <laughs> Everything's getting old. <laughs> oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done this video with in this situation, but I just had to tell you. Please forgive my appearance, but I just had to tell you the joy that is in my heart, knowing that we, the family of God, when he said, do not worry, do not be afraid, it, w it is him working and you will be ready. You may doubt it today. But when you are in the moment, the Spirit will to the bidding of the Lord. God loves you that much. He put himself in you. So be of courage because the Spirit in you is valiant and it after that, my, if I had exerted myself in that manner any other time, my body would have been wrecked today. I haven't even got a twinge because it wasn't me doing it. It was the Holy Spirit. He did the impossible with someone that's impossible. God bless you all. Keep, keep looking up. The time is so close. The things going on in this world, keep your eyes on them, but don't be worried. It's all in the Bible. You don't need to worry about what you see. You just say, I know. He said it would do. It would be like this. And everything he said. So have confidence in him. The Lord is your shepherd. He will shepherd you through it all. And he will bring you into the safe fold very, very, very soon. And remember, no weapon formed against you shall succeed. Because you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. You have the shield, the helmet. You have the full armour of God. You're girt with truth. You're shod with the gospel of peace. You have the helmet of faith. You, you have it all. You have it all. And that shield is going to keep away all of those darts from your soul. And the Lord will come very, very soon. He loves you more than I could ever imagine love to be. I love you. And God be praised. He will show himself even in the weak. I love him so much. He is so wonderful. I never thought it. I never thought it. God bless you all. May he make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Such peace as you could never understand. But look up and know that he is watching everything. And he is with you through everything.
and he will come for you. He promised, and he will not break a promise. Amen. Put your full trust in the Lord, and you shall be saved. Amen. God bless you, my darlings. <laughs>